What's up, everybody? It's your man, KJ the Great, dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. All right, y'all. So I was a little reluctant to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. And y'all know the former undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, 40 wins. No losses, no draw, with 39 wins by way of knockout. He was stripped two months after his historic beatdown of Earl the Truth Spence Jr. last July, July 29th in Las Vegas, Nevada. He was stripped of his IBF title, and uh, Jerome Boots Ennis was elevated to full champion status because of that. Um, because we, as you guys know, the IBF sanctioning body does not recognize or acknowledge rematch clauses and contracts so he still held on to those three straps as they was trying to figure out what to do with the rematch but it's looking like as of now that rematch is a foregone conclusion and is not happening right now um they were talking about the rematch potentially happening in december of 2023 but errol spence had some um a cataract surgery and it was he he was going to need uh, at least six to eight weeks to recover so yeah Terrence Crawford wasn't trying to wait around on that they did say that they were picking the 154 pound division for the rematch but now Terrence Crawford being the WBO welterweight champion has petitioned or already petitioned the WBO to be the mandatory for the winner of Kim Zhu versus Sebastian Fandora. Now, if you guys don't remember, Sebastian Fandora was going to fight on the card um, against Bullchick in an interim title bout because he, one time, Thurman was going to fight Tim Zhu for, well, it wasn't going to be for the WBO strap. It was at a catch weight of about 155, 156. But the WBO came out and said that if Tim Zhu were to lose that fight, he would lose his title. I don't like that. Too many politics right there. That's bull crap. Lose a fight, you know, you, it is not for your belt. You shouldn't lose your belt. But also, if you're, if you're a champion, you should be fighting and defending that belt. So props to Tim Zhu for um, taking the fight with Sebastian Van Dora on a 12 days notice. I, I think that's great, and it shows his, his character and his level of... Um, you know, uh, uh, wanting to be great in, as a champion. Now, with Terrence Crawford, uh, yeah, he'll be the mandatory. He'll be sitting, I'm sure he'll be in the building watching, you know, um, you know, being ready. You know, Terrence Crawford, he's always in the gym. He's always staying ready. Um, but just watching these uh, young fighters and seeing where uh, they're at and 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 just uh, getting his camp ready because he wants to become a four division world champion and ultimately he wants to be undisputed in three separate weight classes. Man, that'll be top five if that happens. I'll just tell you right now. And it, of course, if it goes down the way I think it could go down. But Terrence Crawford has already said, you know, he wants to fight Jamel Charlo at some point. He wants to potentially try to fight Canelo at some point. You know, just to prove that he's the best of this generation. I think all these fights are make doable. But where he's at right now, he's wanting to secure the big bag, which is understandable. Um, and uh, he wants to uh, secure his legacy, further his legacy, excuse me, and become a four division, possibly five division world champion. I think that that's all possible, all doable. Now, as far as getting the bag, well, some of these other fighters have got to step up, you know, uh, depending on who the fighter is you know, generating that type of money. Um, I think it was upwards of $10 million he was looking for for the rematch or something like that, a guaranteed purse. Not really sure, but y'all know what it is, man. These fighters, they want their money, and they deserve it, man. They put their life on the line every time they step into the ring. Pay the man. Pay the fee. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Had to drop this quick video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Make sure you put God first in your grind. Nobody could ever stop your shine. Peace.